Okay, so you have scheduled your meeting and you know how to do that. And then when you're in your Zoom profile, you go to meetings and previous meetings. I'm going to look at this one. So that meeting that you have here, you can add it to your calendar and then even add people to that um, calendar event uh, as an invite that way. But you can also send an email by copying this invitation here. And this is what it looks like. Um, and you can just copy it and put it into an email. So it gives you this detail that you're inviting them to um, a Zoom meeting, the topic, the date, the time. And what they would get when you paste this is this link as a link. And they can also put that into their calendar so they have it ready to go. This is the meeting ID and password, but depending on your settings and how you set this up, just clicking a link um, should work. But it may be helpful also for people to have their phone number. So you may, when you paste this, delete some of the phone numbers that might be irrelevant to you, um, or but also leave this find your local number. These meeting, uh, these details, the meeting ID and passcode down here by the phone numbers is only if they're also calling in. The main reason why they'd be calling in is if they don't have a mic or their mic is not working and they're not able to speak. They will still need this first join Zoom meeting link to see anything in the, in the meeting. So you just, when you clicked copy there and this pops up, you copy meeting ID and I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. So if you put that in an email, let's open that, you would just paste it into the email. So you might, if you know nobody is coming from another country and they're just in your own country, you might, um, if you know that for certain, you can, you know, just cut that down a little bit. Um, it still may be long distance for them to call in if they have to, and then if they want to find their local number. So I'm just going here, pressing spacebar to make sure that's a link. I'm coming, this one tap mobile is more for iPhones. Um, sometimes I remove that as well. And I'm just going to the end of this link here. I'm pressing spacebar to make it a link to. So this I would copy and paste into an email. And that is what people would, would need to know how to reach your meeting. So we can cover settings in other uh, videos or trainings. I was doing this as a demo for creating polls and there's other things we can do, but that is a quick little tutorial on sending the link for an invitation to your meeting.